Albania's rebels are not stopping. They expect attacks by government forces after a 48-hour truce expires at dawn on Sunday. Top priority is defending the seven southern towns they now control. Having pillaged most of their weapons from deserted army bases and depots, they're ignoring government demands to surrender them. The rebels have tried, but mostly failed, to keep abandoned guns out of the hands of anyone younger than 16. The game could get deadly. President Berisha told European envoys that he might call the early elections the rebels are demanding and might extend the truce. The diplomats are putting heavy pressure on him to act. We are aiming at uh, uh, restoring uh, peace and we are aiming at eliminating violence as a short-term uh, objective. Time's getting short. Gyrocaster, another southern town, fell into rebel hands as some residents were trying to get visas to escape to nearby Greece. Gyrocaster had been the south's last major town under government control. The army, in trucks headed north, apparently abandoned the southern town of Fratal. Rebels were gathered on the hills overlooking it. The Albanian army so far has shown little appetite for violent confrontation with its own people. Well, it's not